Hey guys, uh, welcome to our watch of the season finale for season six of Game of Thrones. Um, you're probably watching this if you're like a subscriber or whatever on Thursday or Friday, and in which case I'm really sorry guys, I really wanted to get the finale up sooner, but this happens to be the week that I start classes and I haven't had any time to do anything except for sleep and go to class and work. And so it's Wednesday night right now for me and I finally get to watch it. So, okay. It's called The Winds of Winter, which is the name of the next novel in the Song of Ice and Fire series. So that's pretty awesome. And for a quick, quick recap of what I can remember in my tired state that happened last week is the only thing that really matters is that Ramsey Bolton is dead. And I don't even know. Let's just watch this episode. <laughs> You may play. girl like she was my own she was good she was kind and you killed her the last time a oh great torn said no one ever i believe in you it's embarrassing really i'd swear you're my sword but i love them. don't actually own a sword it's your i love them as like a team it's you. They could really now freaking conquer the world. Good. I, um, I had something made for you. Is that a hand? And like the hand of the king? That's right. The hand of the queen. Tyrion Lannister. I name you Hand of the Queen. Oh god. I love this so much. You're not one of long. mine, are you? No, my lord. Didn't think so. You pretty. Is this Arya? Is Arya wearing someone's face? Where are my damn moron sons? Black Walder and Lothar promised to be here by midday. They're here, my lord. Well, what are they doing? Trimming that cunt hairs? Tell them to come here, now. But they're already here, my lord. Here, my lord. It's definitely Arya. They weren't easy to carve, especially Black Walder. My name is Arya Stark. I want you to know that the last thing you're ever going to see is a Stark smiling down at you as you die. Yes! Kill him. She didn't say the Starks in their regards, but it was 
it was good enough for me. Close enough. You guys, it's Tower of Joy. It's Tower of Joy. It's Tower of Joy. He's going in. That's definitely a baby crying. Hey, Anna. Is that you? you guys, this is... He has no idea. Wow. I'm not. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. <laughs> Get us some water. Oh, no, what did you say? Is there a mister? Listen to me, Ned. That badass little girl's gonna do something. Yep. Yeah. Here she goes. Your son was butchered at the Red Wedding, Lord Mandley. <laughs> but you refused the call. I love this little girl. You swore allegiance to House Stark, Lord Glover. But in their hour of greatest need, you refused the call. This little girl's my favorite person ever. <laughs> Lord Kerwin, your father was skinned alive by Ramsay Bolton. <laughs> Still, you refused the call. But uh, House Mormont remembers. She's like... The North remembers. We know no king, but the king in the North whose name is Stark. I don't care if he's a bastard. Ned Stark's blood runs through his veins. He's my king from this day until his last day. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that makes it really emotional. Oliana standing up for John. Like, I know I'm always a crying mess, you guys. I'm sorry. Lady Mormont speaks harshly. But and truth. truly. <laughs> My son died for Rob Stark, the young wolf. I didn't think we'd find another king in my lifetime. <laughs> I didn't commit my men to your cause because I didn't want more Mandalays dying for nothing. But I was wrong. Jon Snow avenged the Red Wedding. He is the White Wolf, the king in the north. <laughs> I mean, Arya did kind of help too, but I guess you don't know about that yet. <laughs> I did not fight beside you on the field, and I will regret that until my dying day. A man can only admit when he was wrong and ask forgiveness. The way I to forgive, my lord. 
There will be more fights to come. House Clover will stand behind House Stark, as we have for a thousand years. And I will stand behind Jon Snow. <coughs> the King in the North! The King in the North! My whole child! <laughs> Like that guy is like the ultimate badass. Okay. Hey guys, so the episode just ended and I there's so much in that episode I, I honestly don't even know where to start. Everyone dies. <laughs> like I guess they're making room in the budget. I don't know. Like ah oh, the high spirit died. You know, I was stoked about that. Um, Loras and Marjorie and Mace was kind of sad. Um, I had two invested in them, so I, I was they didn't cry about it, as you saw. Um, Lancel, glad we got rid of Pycelle. Oh, can't believe we finally got to kill that guy. Um, and of course, oh wait, um, Tommen was sad, but like really anticlimactic. Anti it was just like, Peace out. Uh, and of course, the best death in that entire episode was Walter Frey. I don't feel bad for the phrase, okay? If this is supposed to make me worried about Arya, like the joy that she took in killing the phrase, it doesn't because I take that same joy in seeing them killed that way. Like, and I was, I was so hoping Ari would say something like the Starks send their regards just because like a huge F you, you know? And she kind of did. Like, she was like, look at my face. I'm fucking Arya Stark. And a Stark face laughing at you is like the last thing you're ever going to see, which I mean, come on. Like, that was awesome, right? Like everyone felt like really vindicated and like little Arya who had to arrive at the gates like as her freaking family is being murdered and here she is she gets to come back after being trained as a freaking assassin and she gets to be like revenge on the people who did it it was it was it was it was justice and i, I didn't feel bad about it john banishing melisandra I was so here for that. That was awesome. I'm glad she brought him back, but that doesn't make me like her. I feel like I remember, like, I know in, like, I think season two, season three, in that general area, Melisandre and um, Arya met, and she said um, that she would see her again. So I, I wonder if they're going to bring that into it in the next season. I don't know, but I, I'm curious. Uh, Arya is obviously very, very close to her siblings and her wolf pack. And, uh, you guys, we have to see that reunion. John is the king in the north, <sighs> which I, I love John. John and Arya, as you guys know, are my ultimate faves. And so I, I just, I need good things to happen to them and only good things to happen to them. And that's a good thing that the white wolf, like, and okay, Liana Mormont standing up for John is right, especially when they do it right after the scene of Liana, basically the confirmation that Liana is John's mom. And then you have a different Liana standing up for John and saying, this is the guy who saved us. Although it sounds it did have something to do with it, but I guess we're just ignoring that. But, you know, this is who we should rally around. He's a Stark, maybe not in name, but in blood, which is true. And it was just great. I just, I love my Starks and my Targaryens. You know, Starks and Targaryens are my faves. Like, obviously, Jon and Arya are my faves. And then Danny, and then Tyrion, and then Bran. So, Starks, Targaryens, and one Lannister. Um, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just, I just loved that scene. And they confirmed that John is John Stark Targaryen, and ah, I'm so here for it. I'm just so here for it. And Tyrion and Danny's, Tyrion and Danny's, uh, 
alliance and her naming him Hand of the Queen. I'm here for, like, those are my other two faves, so, like, I'm here for this. And Bran's going to come back, and he's going to be reunited with John and them, I hope. And now there's this whole conflict because Cersei's queen, and obviously Danny is not going to like that, and there's going to be some conflict there. There was a little bit of iffy, like, traveling, like, how people got from point A to point B in, like, 0.2 seconds. Varys, key among them, was in Dorne. And then all of a sudden back in Marine, and then, of course, and then Elena was in Dorne, and how she knew that everyone was dead already when it literally happened, like, two seconds ago. I don't know. Um, oh, Gilly and Sam are at the Citadel, and that's pretty awesome. And that library, this has nothing to do with anything except for the fact that I freaking want that library. That library is the best, coolest library I've ever seen in my life, and I'm very jealous that I don't get to read everything in it. <laughs> it's not real books. It might be, actually. I wonder if... Mm, makes me wonder. I actually should feel guilty about this, but I like Sansa and Baelish. Like, it's dubious. It's obviously not like good this is an example of a good healthy relationship but it is one that intrigues me and that I want to know more about for sure I liked the line about winter being here like and then John's like well dad always promised because their words are winter is coming I didn't like that we had to say goodbye to Benjamin when we literally just got him back like 0.2 seconds ago that sucked, but maybe I'll come back again. <laughs> it seems unlikely, but it could happen. Davos and the whole Davos and Shireen moment was awful and heartbreaking and kind of everything I wanted it to be. Where's Brienne is a question that seems worthy of asking. This all seems like it's leading to the Starks and the Targaryens taking over Westeros and this is a face of a person who is freaking here for that, okay? Starks and Targaryens, my main two houses. Avi, and yeah, I'm just, I'm just so excited to see where this goes. My Starks are so close to each other. They're so close to each other. And John is... You guys, this has just been such a great season, and I just thank you so much for watching it with me and dealing with me crying, like, every freaking episode. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me. And just, yeah, I, tell me what you thought. What's your favorite part of the season? What are you most excited about? What are your theories for going forward? Like, yeah, because I, I don't know. Like, obviously anything with Arya, John, Danny, Tyrion. Bran was all my favorite parts of the season, pretty much. Like, you can you can count that off. Like, Sansa had some great moments, too. Uh, but, yeah, mostly, yeah. Okay. I'm going to leave before I just freak out. But, yeah, tell me. And like it if you want. And if you don't, like, that's totally fine. Like, it's not going to ruin my day. Until next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>